need to be on tap and not on top. Churchill said that as scientists. We need all their expertise, but for God's sake, don't let them run the country. I think the same applies to professionals. Yeah. yeah, they should be there. We should be able to consult them if we want. And Mary Hagen says we've got to, we should actually regard professionals as just like architects, plumbers, and hairdressers. People who may have skills that we may want to use some of the time. Now you think about it. My age, I've got no idea what colour my hair is. My hairdresser sees to it. I'm very dependent on my hairdresser. And she uses her expertise and she'll, you know, she'll listen to what I want and say, Rachel, I'm not sure that's wise with hair like yours. And we'll have negotiations. And there's something she refuses to do. She doesn't run my life. She sits there and I go and see her when I need her. I can go to another one if I feel like it. But it's not saying she doesn't have expertise, but we use it in a different way. I think it's actually about not involving service users in decisions about their care. I think what we're thinking about is very much the co-production of understanding, how we're going to bring together our understandings in that process of shared decision-making. And I think the purpose of services is really about supporting self-management rather than fixing people.